Welcome back to my creative video. In this video, I will share with you how to create a very simple perpetual generator. I only use extremely simple and easy to find materials. First, I will use one syringe and one coil of wire. I will use wire wrapped around a syringe to make the stator coil. At the end of the wire, I use special glue to fix it to the syringe. After finishing the first round, I will wrap the second round. At the end of the wire, I also use special glue to fix the wire. Next, I wind the second coil. Note, we will use two different colors of coils. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. Next, I used a wooden board to make a base for the machine, then used specialized glue to fix the two stator coils I just created onto the wooden base. Next, I used four round magnets to make the rotor shaft. Continue using a long nut and a metal flywheel to make the rotor shaft. I used special glue to attach the magnet to the flywheel. Note, I will attach the magnets with poles alternating in a plus shape. Next, I installed the long nut on the flywheel and tightened it with a bolt. I used two elbow bearings to make the rotor shaft legs. I will mount these two bearings to the long nuts and use bolts to secure it. Next I used special glue to fix the two bearings to the wooden base. I used one plastic bottle cap and two round-shaped pieces of PVC. Two pieces of plastic I will attach to the two sides of the plastic bottle cap. I have made a pulley for the rotor shaft. Then I used one small motor and one other pulley. Then used special glue to attach the pulley to the small motor shaft. I will add one more leg to the motor to make the motor higher. Use specialized glue to fix the motor to the wooden base.
Next, I will use two screws to screw onto the wooden base to make connection points. I used a soldering iron to solder the two wire ends of the two Stisto coils to two screws. Next, I used a piece of wire to connect the two stator coils together. I used one connector to solder to two screws. I used a piece of rubber band from a bicycle tube to make a belt for the machine. Once I finish my machine, I will test it. I used a booster circuit and connected it to the connector. Then I used an Arapto to power the small motor. After stimulating the rotor shaft to rotate, the small motor will immediately rotate as well. I will use an electric fan to check the voltage of the generator. Next I used another light bulb. It's great, the machine just keeps running, the fan and light bulbs work very well. So I have succeeded with my perpetual motion generator, you see? It is quite simple and made from simple materials, right? Let's review what you and I have achieved. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.